What's up, everybody? Welcome back to your Daily Dose of Brood War. Here we are with Larva in the top right-hand corner. His opponent going to be Sock down in the bottom right. Now, yesterday when I was on stream, I just streamed randomly in the evening. Played some Project Zomboid after completing the KCM cast for the day. Larva himself, the man, dropped by the stream. Larva. Wait, the Larva? Bro, big fan, man. If you are actually Larva. Dude, my pleasure, man. Was so much fun. I loved the, the games between you and Sock. That was really, really good fun. Sad, to see, sad not to see you in the ASL this season, man. Dude, the legend. The guy who won ASL and then, you know, took off, man. He just went and did his own thing. He was like, that's enough. I got it. I got the win. We're gonna go relax now. The Starfoot Gamer, man. Is in my chat right now. I'm I'm blessed. We we're blessed and honored. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm sure you're still stream as well. That's too bad. Oh really? Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah, I will. Thank you very much. And he also played another game just yesterday, and uh he would like if I could cast that for him, so or make a video out of it. So we um we're gonna do that. Of course, when Larva himself tells you, you know, you got to cast this game. I mean, that's what we do. We cast that game. So, Larva here getting blocked by Sock. Sock pulling out some cheeky maneuvers in the early game. Building an engineering bay here. And he's going to be walling in back at home. We are on Blitz Y. Wow, a lot of drones being pulled here. He really wants to get rid of this eBay. eBay has a lot of health. And this has been built for quite some time, so this is very frustrating, actually. Very, very frustrating indeed, guys. I've been playing a lot of ladder recently. I played a whole bunch of ladder today, even. And I have never seen someone block the natural with the eBay like that before. Just straight off the bat, even before the barracks went down, he started building that eBay. That's kind of crazy. That's a... It's a little bit cringe, actually. I really don't want to see that in my games. I've been playing... <laughs> I've been struggling recently in my games, guys. My, uh... Stream today was pretty brutal, honestly. And... I guess, you know what? If you... Uh, every stream is probably... Every, every Brood War ladder session is a dumpster fire if you ladder long enough, right? If you play enough games, eventually it all turns to shit, right? I think that's like the 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 golden rule or something like that. Factory here going up in the main base. And of course, it's probably going to be a two. Starport? No, he's not mining more gas. Okay, so it's not going to be two starport. We're going to have something else. We've got the factory here. We're going to have Vulture out pretty soon. And we went for a third base immediately. And you know, Sock... He saw the timing. He saw the pool was quite late. He's pretty much sniffed this out already. He sees everything. He's going to send a SCV up here. He's going to scout this. And this is not a very easy base to defend against Vulture, right? There's not a very simple way to defend here. I think he's going to build a bunker. He's got one Marine coming out here. That's kind of kind of wild. We're going to have one Marine here. The SCV going to fight the drone. Getting a couple of extra hits there. Very annoying. Trying to do that drone micro that we were practicing today on stream as well. Very hard to do. And he's going to deal some damage to that. But the bunker is almost halfway finished. That one marine is coming up. This is actually very annoying right now. This is super annoying. Sokka is being such a pain in the ass. Oh man. And this vulture is going to come over here too. The vulture is going to arrive. I guess you can put the sunk in here. But it doesn't really protect you perfectly. Uh, against that vulture. He's gonna try and run up into the main. Great catch here. Oh, almost getting that with just 5 HP. Are you kidding me? What an annoying vulture here. Gonna survive. And he can't catch it either. Damn! Larva gotta be sweating right now. A little bit angry. For sure. Or maybe he's laughing. I've seen him a lot on stream just... Laughing away at every single mistake. And every single... You know, crazy thing that happens, like this Vulture getting with 5 HP. Look at that. He didn't even take that shot from the Hydra. Hydra was just barely out of range. 
He seems to have a really good attitude about things. Maybe I need to take a page out of his book. I am always getting too tilted on the ladder. We're going to have some links making their way into the natural here. He should be able to get this marine at least, right? Surely he does get the vulture. Nice job. I was thinking that must be on its way back. He picks it off right there in the natural as it's returning home. So he gets that closure. Finishing off that vulture is big. We've got a drop ship here. The follow-up going to be a drop. That's pretty expected. Like, look, we've already got Hydralis in the main base. You kind of, you kind of expect that here. Once you see um, that he's going for Vulture, you know, we've gone for kind of this one base style with Vulture. Of course, he's going to want to drop inside your main. It's just par for the course. He's going to have these uh, Hydras here. They're a little bit out of position, unfortunately. They're going to be blocking the way into the natural. And he only loses one drone so far. Let's see if he can save the rest of them. He must have gone for range first. They usually go range first because if there are like a two... If there's a two-port Wraith play... Oh, God. He's going to lose both of these pretty quickly. Oh, man. He didn't turn his Hydra there in time. But he will finish that off. Yeah, you usually go as range first because if they go to port wraith and they tr start like micring around your wraiths or around your uh, hydras, they can actually start killing your hydras with just wraith, which is pretty nasty. It definitely feels bad. So you, you really do want that range first so that you can actually battle with the wraiths so that they can't just outrange you. And so he went for that. Now he's got the speed as well. He's going to have a lot of hydra out here. This is already a freaking crazy game here. We've got the dropship just kind of scouting everything out. It doesn't have anything in it. We've got Hydras coming down here. Vulture's going to lay some mines behind these Hydra. Be careful. Oh. That's painful. Losing two Hydras here to uh, some mines is really, really bad right now. You hate to see it. And the Wraith is going to make its way up here. Oh, man. If only he didn't turn around with those few Hydras, he would have been fine. But... You might end up losing a drone here, maybe an overlord. There are hydras popping out soon, but this is super annoying, man. I tell you what, this is very, very frustrating to deal with. The dropship is going to fly in. It doesn't actually have anything in it once again. Kind of just a scouting drop here. The vultures are going to try to run by, kill some drones. Oh boy, one drone, two drones go down, but two vultures traded out. Not the greatest trade here for Sock, but he'll take it. Picking off any amount of drones right now is pretty annoying. You know, we've had to spend a lot of money on static defenses, getting these upgrades facilities, right? We've got the Hydra Den. Oh, he didn't get range first. Interesting. All right. I really thought he got range earlier than this, but I guess he did not. That's always my concern is that they're going to go to Port Wraith when I see the wall in at the front. And so I usually go uh, range first, but I guess he had a better read than I did. Oh my god, just sending out these Hydras to the bottom corner right as this dropship lands there. So frustrating here for Larva. He's going to lose some more drones. This is getting really painful. Oh man, just get it, get it, get it. There we go. Yeah, he does finish that off. And we do save the rest of the drones. So... Drone count, not too bad anymore for Larva. He's managed to sneak out a drone here and there while mixing in those Hydras and getting pretty decent defense. Did he actually pick off the Wraith? I think the Wraith might have lived. There it is down there in the bottom left. It's got two kills here. Probably just a couple of Overlords. This Overlord here probably was its other target and the one over here at the third base. And He's switching now into full-on tank marine production. So the follow-up going to be Tank Marine, and this is going to be Larva's response. Immediate uh, Queen's Nest going into Hive Production. Try to get some Defilers and Lurkers out so that he can hold on. But this is already such a weird map, and it's been such a strange opener. It's going to be really tough to find a way. Did we lose drones here? I feel like we, we definitely had more drones here before. I might have missed something, guys. Where did all the drones go at this location? Mm, that's weird. That is um, that is curious. Very curious. I feel like we had a whole bunch more here. I don't see that the drone count has been reduced. I'll have to go back and maybe picture and picture something. I'll take a look later. Dropship coming in here towards this main base. Is he going to find that little tiny position here to unload? He does. 
Stimming up, and the Hydras are targeting down Marines as they can. Lings are going to come in. They can help out quite a lot here. Lings and Hydra combination should be able to deal with this. Hydra's coming in from behind. Oh, God, he's going to get the drop. He does get it. Huge kill there. Actually huge. Going to get the, the Marine as well. Really, really nice job here by Larva. Staying active, making sure that he's watching his main base. Now, denying those dropships is so, so, so important. He's going to be able to pump out some more drones. He's going to be able to, you know, focus on his macro here. And getting into this hive tech, which is coming up soon. And the map is very, very dark right now for Sock. As you can see, this is all the vision he has right now. Aside from scans, he really doesn't see much else on the map. And oops, now he can't see anything. Ling's here. Hydra's unmasked lurker. Defiler's mount on the way here. Another upgrade coming up. We're going to have plus two very soon. Another base should be coming down relatively soon. We do want to get up to four base eventually here, but first we have to deal with this big tank bush, which is about to come out. It's going to be a very scary one with a bunch of vessels here. We've got three vessels for that irradiate. That's going to be very painful if we start losing lurkers and maybe our first defilers as well. Consume just began, guys. And the t tank push is coming across the map here. We are going to have to sack units to delay this. We're going to have to fight with Ling Hydra Lurker. And try to slow down this push somehow. Meanwhile, a Wraith flying into the main. Sock really knows how to abuse a Zerg player, man. Oh, man. Throwing down those three uh, radiates on the front Lurkers. But coming up with Lurkers into the middle of these tanks. Jumping on top of all of this. Oh, man. D-Matrix coming down here. Most of the Marines have died, though. Wow. So much blood here. Absolutely wild. But uh, most of that has been cleared. I mean, we got four Marines and three tanks. That's all that remain. It's really too bad that we didn't have... Or we didn't go for Spire this game. Right? We don't have any Spire. We don't have any Scourge to potentially deal damage to these uh, science vessels. So all we're going to have to rely on is Plague and Hydra to get rid of those. I think we're going to have Consume here now. Consume goes down. The Dark Storm will follow. And he was successful in sack. Oh my god. These should get huge, huge spines here. Really, really big spines. Sock trying to run through there. Not the right decision, man. He lost so many Marines and Medics trying to run through that Dark Swarm. And yeah, we sacked a lot of units. We threw away a ton of supply in order to hold this off. But now we've got Defilers out. Larva is sitting in a pretty okay spot here. We've got three tanks still left alive. He would have loved to finish those off. And it really is a shame that those managed to escape here. But just the fact that we've survived through that push is really, really important. We've got more drones popping here. We're getting into even more hatcheries. Spire will finish up. We'll have more tools to deal with the next bush, including this uh, irradiate here. Scourge will be coming out soon. He's looking for that defiler. Instead, just going to settle for a lurker here. Going to kill our own sunken colony just because it's messing with our mining quite a lot. He sees the tank push coming over onto this side and is going to come up to this high ground here with the defiler. Try to yeah, preempt this push forward here. He gets in front of that. He kills a tank for his action. Larva going to continue to push forward here. Another lurker burrow right in the face of Sock. He can still come around this side, but it's pretty easy to defend with one dark swarm here. You can hold this off. Gonna pop through just in time here. As the Terran units start to come forward, we are gonna get that Dark Swarm plus uh, Lurkers here. He's trying to actually get something out of this. Rather than just stop Sock from moving forward, he really wants to push out and, you know, get some value. Because the Terran player is pushing forward, he's getting a huge chunk of value by just irradiating everything and then falling back every single time. So. You know, Larva running forward really, really aggressively and, you know, getting a tank or two there, here and there is not too bad. But he really wants to, you know, get a big volley, pick off a whole bunch of Marines and Medics. 
But uh, Sock just being a little bit too quick to pull back each and every time, keeping those units from dying. We've got the push over here on the right-hand side. We've got more and more Marines popping out. Looks like we've halted on tank production for now. I'm going to switch into some dropship play. Or back into some dropship play, I should say. Filer going to drop a Dark Swarm here. That's not the not the optimal Dark Swarm, but okay. We'll, we'll be okay with that for now. Coming forward here with the vessels. Oh, man. Here we go. Eraser trick here. Gonna be killing a ton of drones right now. Oh my, oh my god. 15 kills there. And he won't even be able to kill these um, vessels. He's not targeting the vessels that are doing the eraser trick, unfortunately. So that's not going to be able to save him here. Looks like Sock gonna push through over on this left-hand side. Coming up with the Scourge. Oh no, the Scourge are so stupid. They don't even want to attack. They don't want to attack. Larvae, feel your pain. 25 workers to 47 now. Damn Scourge, man. The dumbest unit in the game. Absolutely dumbest unit in the game. And we're going to try to re-drone here. But we are on death's door at the moment. He's going to be researching in snare right now. Very interesting choice while we're on... You know, kind of the edge of our limit here. We were so close to being knocked out of this game. Larva going to research and snare. Nice pickoffs on these drops as they're coming in. Really good kills here. But there are still more Marines popping out. There's only defilers here and a few lurkers to defend. Meanwhile, this attack is going to come in over here and potentially wipe everything out. 25 workers remain. Dropping way down once again. And this is so painful. Trying to... Uh, fight drops with Lurker is so hard. He does manage to clear out a lot of that. He gets a nice plague on these uh, vessels as well. But again, losing another Defiler here. Oh my gosh. When is this going to end? We're going to have another Eraser Trick? No. Everything gets cleared out here in the main. There are still two drops left over. Third base going to be taken by Sock now. We just haven't had an opportunity to take a fourth here for Larva. Larva really on the edge right now at 70 supply. He's barely hanging in there. Going to continue to lose Defilers over and over again here. With the Irradiates continuously dropping. Oh my god, he could catch this. Get the drop. Okay, this is an empty dropship. That's an empty one. We have some Ultras finally popping out. Two dropships over here. If they can get picked off, that would be huge. Oh, kill this. That's free. He does. He does get it. Ultras. Finally, we were able to produce a few ultra. Five armor and one attack. That is kind of a break point here. Where the ultras are going to be able to two hit the marines. And the marines are going to have a really hard time fighting back. Well, they do have plus three. But he is going to come up here and get a big plague. Unfortunately, plague going down on... That ultra as well. That's not what you want. But in, anyway, he's going to clear the majority of this army. Even getting the tanks here. But more reinforcements coming up. It's going to be annoying. Another Dark Swarm here. Lurkers coming forward. Ah, the Defiler gets targeted. The Marines are going to run away. Can he actually get the connections here? A lot of these have been plagued. The ultras should be able to clear this out. Unfortunately, that plagued ultra, man. The, the plagued ultra really, really unfortunate here. Looks like he's probably going to get this. Yeah, he should. He does get that. The Scourge finally connecting on their targets. We should have some more Ultra coming up here. We're getting Ultra the speed, but we don't have any Ultra. Okay, we've got two. Two Ultras are hitting the field. Oh, no, wait. Those are the two Ultras from before. Oh, my God. We're getting Ultra the speed, and we've got one Ultra in production. Yikes. Man. That is rough. Truly. Tank shots could kill these in one or two hits. And I think we're going to have irradiates down here. Radiate on this uh, on this defiler, unfortunately. There it is. Irradiate does go down. Ling's going to come over here and clear out the center left. But we are getting close to that 21 minute mark. We do not have much more time before the, the geysers start to run out here. We can still fight. 
but not for long. Larva is running out of steam here. He does need another base online right away. We're going to consume, but I don't see anywhere we can utilize that energy. He does throw down a Dark Swarm, but we would have loved to get a Plague on something before that Defiler goes down. Another dropship coming through. Two Scourge are ready and waiting. Are we going to be able to catch this drop? This could be the end of our game if this drop makes it in and does a bunch of damage. But I don't think it will. Boo! Beautiful. Actually fantastic here. For Larva, able to pick that off. He's got an Ultra here ready to stop this drop in the back of the mineral line. The Ultra plus Link combo. Absolutely going to annihilate these Marines. That is an unfortunate drop. Almost as bad as just losing it to two Scourge. At least the Marines were able to damage the Ultralis somewhat there. Ultra's coming forward. We've got a Defiler as well. Dark Swarm gets thrown down. Oh, he's not able to get it on the tanks. If you got the Dark Swarm on the tank, then you can just come under the... You can just run under the tank with the Ultras and just uh, break through that position. But unfortunately, the Defiler did die a little too soon. Now he's going to come forward. Maybe he can get it. Maybe he can get it. Dark Swarm on the tanks. Dark Swarm on the tanks. There we go. Dark Swarm on the tanks. Super, super good here. Going to be able to kill all those tanks. Just a few... Ling and Ultra here underneath this Dark Swarm, but he's going to have another Defiler coming up. The fourth gas is now online, but can he hold it? Can he hold this gas? It all comes down to this. He just needs a few more Dark Swarms, a few more Plagues to maybe hold on. Some Scourge as well would be amazing. If we can get some Scourge out here and get rid of some of these vessels, we're going to be able to keep those Defilers alive for a lot longer. Where is the next... Where's the next uh, Dark Storm? We don't have one right now, unfortunately. No Dark Storm here. He does get one of the vessels. But where is the Dark Storm? We need to get Dark Storm on top of this so we can push that down. This is really frustrating, man. You hate to see it. Here we go. Dark Storm on top of the tanks once again. However, over here at the uh, top left. Okay, under the Dark Storm, that should be a hold. Ultra's going to get on top of these tanks. Is this going to be hold as well? He can't get down here with the Ultra. The Ultra are being so stupid right now. They're not realizing that they need to get over here. Kill that last tank. Get it, get it, get it. We really need to get this tank. Getting under the Dark Swarm, super important. Ling's going to clear out most of this. Oh, some of the drones are going down here because the uh, Defiler is actually spreading the Irradiate to them. Oh, man. Larva coming across the map now, putting the pressure back onto the sock. Has he done it? Has he weathered the storm? With the fourth gas online, he can finally field a large enough army to push across the map. This is crazy. Larva killing all the workers. There's nothing left here for sock. Just waves and waves of Ling Ultra coming across here. We've got some Lurker coming forward to... This is something that you gotta, you gotta appreciate as a Zerg player. Larvae even bringing forward the Lurkers that have been on defense the whole game. Immediately, as soon as he sees, senses the advantage, he knows that he can come across a map here and end the game. He just starts bringing the Lurkers forward. They are going to get irradiated, but here comes the Scourge. Yes. Get him, get him, get him. All right, this is not going to deal as much as we would have hoped, but we did pick off a few vessels still. That's a lot. We got nine vessels here to work with. Larva needs to end this game properly here. He needs to come forward with the Ultra and the Defiler tech. Try to end this one, but Sock is resilient. The Terran, very resilient race, man. It's so hard to kill off a Terran. When they just keep on producing Marine Medic and Tank here, it's so, so difficult. He does get a Dark Swarm on top of this uh, Marine group. That's a really big moment. One more Dark Swarm or a Plague could be game ending here. He gets the Dark Swarm on top of the tank. Gonna come through with some more Scourge kills. Beautiful hits on those Scourge. One last Ultra here. Very low on that ultra count, but there it is. GG Sock gets taken down by Larva, man. What a game.
Larva did not disappoint here, guys. Thank you so much to him for stopping by the stream and letting me know about this game. An absolute gem. And so much fun to watch. Big shout out and thank you to Larva. Guys, this has been your daily dose of Brood War. I bet you enjoyed that one, didn't you? Make sure to go down to the description. I'll link Larva's YouTube in the chat. Go over there. Give him a sub. Give him a comment. Tell him that SC sent you. That's all for today. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.